to leave him for another. No, why would I? His friend is waiting for the accident, so why would I leave him? Oh, mind you, he's in a wheelchair. Yes. For the rest of his life. Of course. I'm not going to change my mind because he's in a wheelchair. I've loved him before the incident happened. Welcome to my channel. It's your only bra from Ghana. The name is Bra Jones. And today we are in South Africa, as usual. We are asking the street this question that it's two months to your wedding, and then your partner got involved in a car accident. And then unfortunately, the doctor says that, that your partner is paralyzed and going to end in a wheelchair for the rest of life. If it were you, the question is, will you go ahead with the wedding or you will leave your partner for another? You know what? Please subscribe for me and then like and share. And then don't forget to let me know your humble opinion in the comment section. My name is Brad Jones. Let's go. My name is Brad Jones and you? Taba. Welcome, Taba. Okay, the question is, eh, your fiancé had an accident, eh, got involved in an accident a few months before your wedding. And then now she got paralyzed and she cannot do anything. She had to sit in a wheelchair. And the only thing she can do is maybe when you put her foot in the mouth, then she can eat. That is the only thing she can do. With this situation, are you still going to marry your fiancé? Or you will leave her and marry another? No, I will still marry her. Why are you married? Because I don't know what was the cause of the accident. Because uh, according to my knowledge, I think that was that was a go to will. So if it was go to will, then I would have to marry her. Because I don't think that uh, she can just throw herself on the road so that she gets an uh, accident and be paralyzed so that I cannot marry her. Okay, in that way, you mean it depends on how she got involved in the accident no that's not how she got involved in the accident mm. i think i take it like it's a it's a go to will okay. and then when it's like that i will go for her because i think that uh, it was few months before we can get married mm. so god and god were happy for us so i think oh, maybe in some way somehow like in other way like it's a blessing yeah. so i don't know maybe the the accident was it a curse or blessing but i will just take it it was a blessing from god you love your fiance to the extent that even the accident you see it as a oh extremely extremely god bless you man oh, <laughs> my name is brad jones and you okay my brother okay today the question for the streets your fiance eh, got involved in accident car accident few months to your wedding less than two months for your wedding and then because of the accident now she's paralyzed she cannot do anything she had to sit in a wheelchair for the rest of her life are you still going to marry this lady or you are going to leave her for another yeah, yeah you're going to marry her yeah. even though she cannot do anything she cannot walk nothing yeah wow. so love love Okay, thank you, Maria. Yeah. All right. My name is Brad Newton. Delight. I'm delight. Wow, delight. You are already delight. You look like, yeah. You really fit your name. Yeah. Okay, so here's the question. Your husband to be then got involved in an accident. That's a two months before your wedding. And now the doctor says he can't perform again for the rest of his life. And it's our life. I used to go and marry you. You are not going to marry another. You are going to marry you. Why? Because I have to make a lot of people so great. I got the story. I love you. 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 I love Wow. Thank you, Thank you. My name is Greg. All right, Greg. Okay, the question is that your fiance eh, got involved in a car accident. All right. And it was two months to your wedding. And now the doctor says because of the accident, she is paralyzed. And then she cannot walk again. She will have to sit in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. 
My brother, are you still going to marry such a lady in that condition? Or you will leave her for another? Uh, no, because I feel like if the same happened to me, she would probably not leave me. So I think, no, I'll stay with her. She's, 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 I mean, as long as she's beautiful on the inside, she remains faithful, which obviously she will because she's going to watch it. But yeah, um, I'm thinking I'll stay with her. You still don't mind. I wouldn't mind it. Whether she can walk or not, you still marry her. I'll no, push her around. It's fine. Don't have a good heart. My name is Brad Jones. Uh, my name is Kevin. All right, Kevin. Yeah. Here's the question. Your fiance yeah, got involved in a car accident. Yeah. And it was just two months to your wedding. Yeah. And now the doctor says because of the accident, she's not going to be able to walk for the rest of her life. She's paralyzed. And she's going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. The question is, are you still going to marry this lady or you are going to be there for her? I know if I love her, I'm definitely going to marry her. And I believe that like, if we were preparing for, for like a wedding, then that, that would mean that, yeah, I love her. So uh, I wouldn't leave her. I'll stay with her, despite the uh, charity. Even though she will be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life, you still marry her? Yeah, I'll still marry her. Because, you know, like, you, you never know with life, since I'm a person of faith, it might happen that, like, in the future, uh, she might go to, to, to some church or, yeah, and they pray for her, and then she, she walks again, you know, if anything is possible. So, that's why I'll stay with her. That's I'll stick it through. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a point. Thank you for your humble opinion. No, no, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. <laughs> My name is Brad Jones, and you? Okay. All right. So the question is that your fiance yeah, got involved in a car accident two months before your wedding, and then now the doctor says that because of the accident he is paralyzed and he is going to be in the wheelchair for the rest of his life. Are you still going ahead and marry this husband? You will not leave him for another. No. Why would I? We planned this wedding before the accident, so why would I leave him? Oh, mind you, he's in a wheelchair. Yes. For the rest of his life. Of course. I'm not going to change my mind because he's in a wheelchair. I've loved him before the incident happened. I'm still going to marry you. You have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ne. Okay. Right, right. My name is Brad Jones, and you? I'm Reggie. Okay, Reggie. Today, the question is that your fiancé, Ne, got involved in a car accident, and it was just two months to your wedding. And now the doctor says because of the accident, she's paralyzed and she cannot walk again for the rest of her life. She will, she will have to be sitting in a, a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Will you still go ahead and marry this lady or you, you will leave her for another? Oh, definitely, I'll marry her because mm. I met her without having an accident. And I won't deny God's ways. Mm. Definitely, I'll go for her. So even though she's paralyzed and cannot walk, you still go for her, you still marry her? Yeah, yeah, definitely I'll marry her because I love her. Oh, all right. God bless you.